I made a game in one hour. Hello everyone, my name is Alan Fanformist and welcome back guys to another brand new video because today we are gonna see the process of making a game within one hour or so. That's something that you have to find out yourself in the end. So make sure you stay on this video, give it a try, watch it because I promise it's gonna be very funny I would say. And without any more introduction, let's jump right into the video. Here, as you can see, I've just created the Unity game. I've named it. I didn't know exactly which one should I select. I decided, okay, maybe 3D Mobile. I've never tried that, so let's go with something new. Then I jumped right into the assets. I found the one that I liked and I was like, okay, maybe this is the right one. I pressed it. I watched all the photos. I liked what I saw. I've imported it. This took a lot of time. I've downloaded it. This took a lot of time. You can watch down there the minutes and see how long it took. They were like, okay, you got other errors, let's fix them. And I was like, okay, fine, you know what? I'm not just gonna dance, have the time of my life. And then I was like, oh god. I took my phone, I texted my friends. Finally, it was here. I've imported everything. Another one hour later. Then I went into the scene. I've created a new plane because that's how you start everything in Unity, at least for me. Then I jumped right into the Adams, trying to scroll to find out what is everything. Then I found the head. I laughed. And here I was trying to find the right color for the plane. I found this purple that I really, really liked. It was very special. It was something special about it. Then I scaled it a bit and then I jumped into the process of creating the plane itself, creating the circuit of my my mobile 3D racing game. It wasn't something boring. I was trying my best to match everything up and not have any spaces in between because you know how is that gonna be funny if you're gonna have to jump on one another in my mind it's like that's not gonna work so i took my time to fix everything and to make sure everything is perfect and now you can watch it yourself Scale, redimension, everything took a while because I was like, okay, I want to make it perfect, so no mistakes in between. As you can see, I was trying my best, but the asset was very, very good. It had everything I needed, everything I needed, literally. Without my moon in Virgo, so you can see how perfectionist I am. But, I mean, guys. That's understandable, right? We don't want a circuit. That's not gonna work. So you can see matching all the lines, all the dots to make sure our player is gonna have fun.
If you would ask me what's the direction of the circuit itself, I would say I don't have any clue because at the beginning I was like, okay, I'm gonna start from this part of the plane and I'm gonna go to the very end of it. But now you can see, I was like, okay, I want to import the sky. I asked for a script for my player. And then I've created the folder in which I put every code of mine, all the C-sharp scripts, of course. Then I've imported it, I'm not joking, our... <laughs> I'm kidding, but it just took a lot of time loading. Then I had a few issues with it, with the script, of course, because it was showing what I wanted, but when I was trying to move the player, it didn't work. So now I had another issue. I was like, why I can't open my script in visual code? That's something very weird. Because you know what I did? I had it installed on my previous laptop and I've installed it recently on this one, on the new one. I was like, maybe it's an issue of the way I installed Visual Studio Code on my laptop. So I was like, I have to fix that. But then I was trying to ask ChatGPT multiple times until I found external script editor and I was able to select Visual Studio. And it worked. I was relieved. I was like, okay, I don't have to reinstall Visual Studio for this video. That's going to take another one hour or so. Don't forget to drink your water while you are working. So after I imported the script, it doesn't work. I tried it again. And then this time it worked with the camera. It was a problem with the camera, okay? As you can see, unfortunately, one hour already passed, but if you take into account all the time I've waited to import the assets and so, you'll see that actually I might be able to create something in one hour. Maybe I have to give it another try, try something else. But yeah, here I was trying my best for the camera to work. As you can see, I was trying to set it as main camera and so on. And I was like, oh my god, no, now it's following the wheels, it's not gonna work. I need to do something else instead. So I was playing with it a lot, a lot of time to figure out what's the issue with that camera. As you can see, I played it again. Come on, one more time. Same issue. Even though I was trying to select everything, remove, add, scripts, and so on, I was having fun with ChatGPT asking multiple times, hey, I got this issue, solve it. And blah, 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 it didn't work. Um, same problem as well. Then I was like, okay, you know what? I'm gonna search for a YouTube tutorial. I've tried so many times, I swear to God. You can see me being nervous, giving my best to make sure it's gonna work out.
another script, another try. I was dancing, I was having fun, even though I was concerned because one hour and a half basically almost passed. Camera didn't work again. I was relieved that the player actually moved around, so that was okay, that was fixed. So I was trying to import another script and be like, I want this to blah blah blah, I want this to follow the player. That was the issue, I didn't want a camera that's static. It's not fun. Have you ever played a racing game with a static camera? It's not a racing game anymore. Another script. Let's try it again. I was trying to figure out the point in which should I say follow this thing. And then I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna copy paste the camera that they have on YouTube, on GitHub, of course, the script of it. And maybe it's gonna work out. And it worked out! Guess what? It worked out. Of course, it was a total mess because of the box colliders. And then I selected everything and I've added box colliders everywhere on the map. I was like, okay, let's do it again. Then I was able to play, finally, my game. I've created this game in one hour. The asset was pretty, pretty complex and thank God it had everything in it. So it wasn't like I have to do everything by myself. So yeah, guys, this was the process. This is how I make the game in only, I mean, not only one hour, but you saw the time. You saw how much I've waited for them to load. So it's not like, I've spent two hours just because I wasn't able to do it myself in one hour. No, I've waited, I would say, half an hour. And I'm not lying, half an hour. Most likely I've waited for that. So yeah, this was the video. I hope you liked it. Please let me know in the comment section. What do you think? How bad was it? How good was it? How was your... If you ever try to create a game in one hour, let me know. Maybe we can collab. We have a Discord server. Feel free to join, it's for free of course, you don't have to worry about it. There's an amazing community out there with game developers, gamers, you can join. If you're passionate about games in general, everyone is free to join. Make sure to do that. I'm the Nonconformist, take care and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.